so in this session we are going to talk about sequential circuits okay we have seen what combinational circuits are now we are going to study sequential circuits what is a sequential circuit it is a circuit in which your output is dependent on whoops dependent on your current input and your current state okay current state what is the state your state is determined by either of your current input or past inputs so your state in itself is determined by current or past inputs okay so we can say that a sequential circuit actually is composed of both current input and past inputs and these two together determine your current output okay so in a sequential circuit to store this state you have something called state memory okay your current state is stored in state memory okay state memory this is stored current state stored in state memory your output is determined by output logic circuit okay that's a terminology okay we call this output logic circuit this is the circuit that determines what is the output of your sequential circuit okay output is determined by okay and your current state is determined by something called next state logic circuit okay so i am going to do this and say your current state is determined by these okay and we have a circuit which operates upon these and that circuit is called as next state logic circuit next state logic circuit okay so here i am going to write current state determined by okay current state determined by your next state logic circuit i am going to put this in a block so that you understand that this is a block of your sequential circuit this is again a block of your sequential circuit and this is a block of your sequential circuit okay since your sequential circuit has states and it has limited number of states a sequential circuit is also known as a finite state machine okay so sequential circuit also known as a finite state machine okay your sequential circuit is also known as a finite state machine which is also known as as fsm okay so any fsm can be categorized on the basis of the fact whether your output signal is dependent on your input signal okay so on the basis of that fact we have 